Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. What? Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey! This mug always cheers me up. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly noon. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? There's a piece of paper on the ground. I didn't know trees got that big. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. them. 
Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about hey, control. You made it back. Deciding Good. what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. <laughs> Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. Movies. fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a 
snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> oh, dear. Cute. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bray Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calvin Light was passed off. Yes. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. Fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Oh, yeah. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. 
they were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hi. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The Cult of the Tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The Cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? 
she drowned your daughter? That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. I need to know more about the cold of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Good to see you. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. Hello. Ooh, we're getting some more new All folks set? in town. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. 
We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is down. 